Hey guys, what is going on? Jedi Master Yuta here. Today I'm going to be making a remake of one of my past videos on my old channel, which is Order 66 Survivors Canon Diversion. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I have three new members. So pretty much, yeah. Oh, well, four more members. So pretty much, yeah. I'm only going to be reviewing how they survived and how they died and what they did before they died. So pretty much, yep. Let me get started with the Grandmaster himself, Yoda. Okay, so how he survived was the help of Tarful, Wookiee Chief Tarful, and Chewbacca. Who, who, on Kashyyyk, they got, they showed him to an escape pod that he could escape in. And he exiled, exiled himself to Dagobah, rather instead of fighting the Emperor and the Empire. And what he did there before he died was train Luke Skywalker. Then he finally died telling, confirming Luke's, to Luke Skywalker that Darth Vader was his father and that he has a sister and died laying in his bed. Wow, that was quicker than I thought. Okay, so next, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's not really clear. Well, it's not really like not, mu not much to say about how he survived. He just survived on the planet Utabao and escaped in some kind of ship. I know it wasn't his Jedi Starfighter. Or was it? I don't know. Either way, he survived and met up with Yoda and Belargana. Discussed what they were going to do. Well, first, he got off of Utapau. What happened after that? He confronted Anakin. Um, was at the birth of Luke and Leia, and died and saw and watched as Padme died. Then later met up with Yoda and Belargana, discussing what they're going to do with the twins, Luke and Leia. And Kenobi deciding that he would watch after the boy on Tatooine and give him to, and give Luke to his father's brother-in-law Owen, and Owen's wife Brua, Bruru, Beru, Beru. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Brua Lars, Lars. Yeah. And as he watched over Luke, he sometimes saved his life, brought him back to his house. Pretty much when he was in danger. And then when the time came, he went on a mission to rescue Princess Leia and was and ended up fighting Darth Vader on the first Death Star and ended up letting himself get killed so Luke and the others could escape off the Death Star. So pretty much, yeah. I have the oldest version of him, the newest version of him, of how he died right here. Let me give him the lightsaber real quick. So pretty much, yeah, that's Kenobi. Okay, so next up is Luminara Unduli. She didn't really survive at all. She just, like, got captured by, like, Kashyyyk troopers on the planet Kashyyyk and was brought to an Imperial prison and was later, later executed by the Grand Inquisitor. But he used, like, her... What did he use from her? He used like his her body to lure Jedi into traps so he could kill them, making them believe that Luminar survived Order sixty six. Well, she did just not like what the Imperial records showed on Star Wars Rebels when Kanan and Ezra were tricked into believing that Luminar survived Order sixty six. So pretty much, yeah, that's all I have to say about her. Okay, so next, Kanan Jarrah's. So, Kanan, his life is pretty much going on now in Star Wars Rebels. So, let me just get started. He survived because of his master, Depa Balaba, sacrificing herself and eventually getting shot down by clone troopers so he could survive. He later met he later met, met up with Hera and became... Is Hera the leader of the Ghost Crew or Kanan? I think it's Kanan. Either way, he became the leader of the Ghost, Ghost Crew, which later joined the Rebellion. And they are currently fighting with the Rebellion. He trained Ezra Bridger as his Jedi Padawan and Sabine to use the Darksaber. Hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, it's pretty much obvious that they're gonna die, that Ken is gonna die in Star Wars Rebels. Along with Ezra, Zeb, and some few other people. So, pretty much, yeah, probably in Season 4, because that's, like, the last season of Star Wars Rebels. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about him. Okay, who next? Okay, so, 
I'm going to add in this Jedi Temple Guard because we all know that the Grand Inquisitor was a Jedi Temple Guard. But then when he, he fell to the dark side and became an Inquisitor, it's not confirmed how he survived Order 66. He just did. And mm, he pretty much committed suicide because he knew that he failed Darth Vader. And he didn't want to face him or face the consequences because Vader might have killed him. Or, like, done something bad to him, so he just committed suicide. Once again, as I previously stated in um, my Inquisitors video, where I review the 7th sister and the 8th brother, I do not have an official minifigure of the Grand Inquisitor, so I'm just using Jedi Temple Guard, because he was previously a Jedi Temple Guard. So, yep. Okay, next we have the 8th brother. It's not confirmed how he survived Order 66 either, or the Seventh Sister. I'm just going to get through with them together. It's not confirmed how they survived Order 66, but they were Jedi when they did, and later fell to the dark side and were killed on the planet, not Mandalore, Malachor, Malister, Malister. They were killed by Kanan, Darth Maul, well, Darth Maul. Yeah, pretty much just Darth Maul, along with the fifth brother who was also killed by Darth Maul. He was technically killed by Kanan Jarrah's because you know how like their Inquisitor lightsabers can like help them fly like a helicopter, top of a helicopter? Well, that's pretty much what the 8th brother tried to do. He tried to fly away, but his lightsaber was broken and he fell to his death. Um, The 7th sister was killed by Darth Maul when he sliced, when he threw his lightsaber at her, giving Ezra a chance to kill her, but he didn't. So pretty much, yeah, he killed her instead. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, last but not least, the newest member of the Order 66. Hang on, guys. She kind of just broke apart. She is made of how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five. She is made out of five pieces, and two of them just fell off, fell on the floor. I had to get them. Okay, so last but not least, the newest member of the Jedi Order 66 survivors for now is Jocasta New. It's not confirmed how she survived either. I mean, like, we just got the info about her surviving. I just got the info of her surviving today. In a video I watched telling me, telling that she survived Order 66 and she will appear in a Darth Vader uh, issue in the Darth Vader comic. She will be confronting Darth Vader and the Grand Inquisitor. So pretty much, yeah, she's, she's definitely, she's definitely going to die then facing the Grand Inquisitor and Darth Vader. But, once again, it is not confirmed how she survived. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to include Quinlan Voss in this video. It is not confirmed if he survived Order 66 or not. But, it would be pretty cool if he did, because in Legends he did. But, once again, it's not confirmed if he died in Order 66, the Great Jedi Purge, or not. Or if he survived. But, in the Han Solo movie, there will be a new character who has the same last name as Voss. Quinlan Voss, this Voss right here. And fans are hoping that that is the same person as Quinlan Voss. And so am I. I really want him to survive Order 66. I just always looked onto him like he's like he's always just been a cool, awesome character to me. So pretty much, yeah. So that's pretty much it for my video, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on my videos. Tell me in the comment section below who you think I should make next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.